So this is my joiner. It's an older model. I believe it's a Delta Rockwell six inch joiner. I got it used and essentially I've been cleaning it up, getting all the rust off the bed there. And now it's time to make a joiner guard because mine was missing. So the first thing I noticed was this kind of knob underneath it uh, that when you spin, you notice that there's this metallic bar inside and when you spin that, essentially it moves. So what needs to happen here is you need to have a slotted pin go down this hole that'll sit on either side of that bar. And then when you add torque or twist the knob in a counterclockwise direction, that will snap your joiner guard back into place. For this project you'll need a couple things, uh, including a scrap piece of plywood and a half-inch dowel. As you can see, the half-inch dowel slides perfectly into the hole, but just to be safe, go ahead and measure yours first. So grab a piece of paper, and what I'm doing is I'm putting my piece of paper, I'm holding it into place with a screwdriver, just temporarily, and then uh, we're going to draw it out. This is what uh, my manual says my joiner guard should look like, so we're going to try and make something uh, along these specs. So I'm using a compass to get a perfect semicircle and what I'm going to try and do essentially is find the point where my compass will hit both edges of my piece of paper. So go ahead and go ahead and play around with that essentially until I find the correct positioning. If you don't have a compass, uh, use a small paint can or a bowl or whatever you have on hand that will help you draw that round edge. So once you found that perfect spot, go ahead and trace it out on your piece of paper. So once you're done drawing out that semicircle, go ahead and cut it out with a pair of scissors. And then we're going to position it back into place and make sure you test it before you go any further because you want to make sure that a piece of wood slides through smoothly uh, before going through all that work. So put it back into place temporarily and test it out. So it's not ideal with a piece of paper. It will kind of snag, but uh, essentially it looks like it would make it through. So I'm comfortable with that. So this is what my final template looks like. Don't worry too much about the back and the side. You can cut that however you want. It's more aesthetic than anything else. So once you're done, you, you have a template that you're comfortable with, go ahead and transfer it to your piece of plywood or your scrap wood. So just draw it out and then cut it out with your bandsaw or in my case, a jigsaw. And make sure you draw out that hole as well and use a, use a half inch spade bit to drill all the way through. Here I'm dry fitting once again now that I have my piece of wood cut out just to make sure everything works before I go any further. All right, now it's time to, uh, to make our cuts in our dowel. So uh, cut a piece uh, that's about six inches long. And what you need to do is make a slot in the end. So again, if you have a bandsaw, that's probably the best thing to use. Again, I don't have a bandsaw, so I just used my, my oscillating tool here and use the clamp to hold it in place and just make a very short insert there. It doesn't have to be very long, just about half an inch. You can slide that into place. Again, I'm making another test. I, I realized that the piece of plywood was rubbing on the surface a bit too much. I wanted to create a bit of a gap. So uh, I had a piece of, uh, I guess, round uh, quarter inch plywood lying around. So I used that kind of as a, a spacer there. Once the glue is dry, it's time for a final fitting. So go ahead and slide in the dowel and then grab the knob and turn it counterclockwise. Apply some good tension on there and then push the dowel all the way in. And you'll need to make sure that it fits snugly. If you look on the bottom side there, each side of the dowel should be on either side of that pin. This is what's gonna help it snap back into place when it's twisted outward. So based on my test, looks like it works. But let's try it with a final pass with a piece of wood just to be sure. And there you have it.